Good morning, everybody. It's a good day. Got my red lipstick on. I wanted to share something with you. Yesterday, our uh, beloved Grandma Trini breathed her last and entered eternity. And um, my husband, Chuck, was in the room. And he said that um, he was praying in English and another cousin was translating in Spanish. And um, when she started really laboring in her breath, he started saying, please translate this, run to Jesus. And Chuck knows Spanish, so I'm not sure why he wanted to translate. Maybe he just felt more comfortable praying in English because English is his primary language, even though he does know Spanish. But anyway, so he, he said, tell grandma in Spanish, run to Jesus, just go to him, run to Jesus. And then she entered heaven. So what an honor and privilege that my husband got to usher in and pray in Grandma Trini to her heavenly home to be with her Savior and Lord. I wanted to share something else that my husband um, mentioned to me and to the family. He texted the family and it was so wild because it was something similar that God put on my heart first thing 5 a.m. this morning and it was this. So years ago, a bunch of us went to Yosemite. It was before we had kids. Chuck said it was about 20 years ago. Gosh, it's crazy. So Chuck and I have been married 22 years. So um, this was 20 years ago, maybe 2001, I guess. And we were in Yosemite and Grandma Trini had, ha has diabetes. And you know, 20 years ago, she was almost 80. You know, she's 97. So she was 76, 77, around that age. And you know, with the elevation in the Yosemite Valley, you know, people get dizzy and things like that. But she was eating things she shouldn't have been because of the diabetes. Anyway, she had a stroke. So she was sitting on the bench. We were all sitting in the park bench in glorious, beautiful Yosemite. And she starts uh, falling over. And I remember we were sitting there and everybody was talking and she just, it was just like she wanted to take a nap. She just started dozing off to the left. And so, of course, everyone grabbed her and um, had to take her in an ambulance. And they had to drive all the way to um, Oxnard, I believe. It was just an absolute nightmare. We were so sad because here we are in Yosemite planning this camping trip or on a camping trip. And, you know, the inevitable happened. She, she you know, had a stroke. Well, Chuck said... Maybe God didn't answer our prayer for her to live a bit, little bit longer today. But God answered our prayer back in 2001 when she had that stroke. And he gave us 20 more years with Grandma Dini. And I was just in awe of the Lord because I was remembering that trip and that instance. And how merciful and kind God is. So it was just beautiful. And I just wanted to share it with you all for encouragement. And I was also just thinking that I have so many prayer requests and prayer needs right now. And I do not like to go through a laundry list of prayers because God is our rock and our savior and our Lord. And we have to spend time in praise. I want to spend time in thanksgiving. I want to spend time in confession. I just don't want to go through every laundry list uh, need, even though. I could. It's not that it's bad. It's just that my heart gets overwhelmed as I say, and this needs help, Lord, and this person needs help, and there's this issue and that issue. So I am going to be lifting up a lot of people specifically by name, but if there's something heavy on your heart, if I pray, for example, for the people battling COVID, and, and I might name one name or two names, you might have five names, you in the quietness of your heart or out loud, say their name and you pray as well because I'm, I want to pray in the spirit. I don't want to pray Laura's agenda. I want to pray in the spirit and I pray that you link arms with me and you pray in the spirit as well. Father, I rejoice in this day, this beautiful day that you've made. Psalm 121 says, I lift my eyes up to the heavens, to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from you, the maker of heaven and earth, God. Oh, how I need you, Lord. You're my only hope. You're my only prayer. So I will wait for you to come and rescue me, to come and give me life.
Thank you, God, that we know where our help comes from. Our help comes from you, King Jesus. I praise you and I thank you that you were and you are our help. You were our help yesterday in that hospital room in Covina when Grandma Trini breathed her last breath. You were there. You were there when she was born and you were there to welcome her home in her 90s. God, a long, beautiful life. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. And Father... I just want to praise you for who you are. You are rock eternal, Al Olam, you're Al Che, the living God. You're Jehovah Sid Canoe, the Lord our righteousness. You are Elohim, creator God. You're Al Kana, jealous God. You're Adonai, master. Jehovah Jireh, provider. Jehovah Nisi, banner of love. Jehovah Rapha, healer. Jehovah Shama the present God, Al Roy, the God who sees, Al Shaddai, God Almighty, Jehovah, Yahweh Jehovah, the Lord, the Lord your God. You are one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, consuming fire, just judge, everlasting God, King of kings, Lord of lords, rock of refuge, strong tower, kinsman redeemer, Lover of our soul, bridegroom, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, the first and the last, the light of the world, the living water, the bread of life, the door, the vine, our King, our God, our Savior, Messiah, Jesus Messiah, name above all names, beautiful Savior, Emmanuel, the, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, Lord of all. All our hope is in you, God. You are our hope, our living hope. Father, I want to give Michelle's family to you. She passed away of COVID, Andrea's friend. You know her by name. You know every number of hairs that she had on her head. And you ushered her home. You called her home. You called Grandma Trini home. You called Edwin home. I pray for those that are grieving death, the loss of life. And yet, we know where they are. They're in your presence. Comfort Michelle's family. She was young. She was a, a mom of four, I believe. Comfort her. Wrap your arms of love around her family, her children, God. I think she has a teen daughter. Some are adults, and I think she has a teen. Comfort them. Bring them comfort. Give Mr. Huskin and his mom and all of his family comfort as they lost their sister Leah. Comfort Jesus. You are our comforter. Comfort Vivian and Kathy and Francie and um, the Palacios family, Sergio, God, Sherry, Tima, all of those who grieve during the holidays, Lord, my mom, Gwen, Glenda, all the widows, Lord, who grieve. The holidays are wonderful times to be together with family, but we also grieve. So please comfort those who are grieving, especially now in this season, Lord. I pray, Abba Father, for Jade as she's in labor, in active labor right now. And this little beautiful baby river will be here in her mama's arms very soon. Father, I pray for no complications. I pray that you would ease her pain when she has those contractions. I thank you that Francie's there. I pray for Reuben as he's battling COVID. I pray for a complete and total healing over his body for no long-term side effects. Your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Heal your son, Reuben. Heal your son, Mitch, and your daughter, Rebecca, also battling COVID. And all of those who are battling COVID, there are many, Jesus. I pray for those battling mental health problems, mental illness, God. Those battling um, transgenderism and homosexuality. This pr precious young girl, Marissa, who wants to remove her breasts so she could be a boy. Father, I pray over Marissa's mind. Your word says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, Lord. I remember years ago laying hands and praying on Marissa at Calvary Chapel, Chino Valley. She was just a teen and she was said that she saw demons in her room and she was plagued with spiritual warfare. And she said she didn't want to go to church because she felt more attacked at church. I pray for Marissa's health that she is not right in her mind. She's not right in her spirit. But God, you are the healer. I, I think of the movie Chosen when... Mary Magdalene, she didn't even go by the name Mary. She used a different name and she was filled with demons 
and you healed her. You cast them out and you said, behold, you are mine. Would you tell Marissa, would you whisper in her ear, you are mine? Would you do the same for little Bella, God, the teen battling with witchcraft and Satanism? God, these, these prayer requests have been heavy, but you are greater. You can crush any trial, any pain, any evil, wicked force is beneath you. It's under you, Lord. So please help. No time out. Hi, son. Hi, son. Hi, son. We're going to school right now, okay? And so, Father, I do pray for Marissa and Bella, these young girls that are just lost right now. And they need you, Holy Spirit, to breathe in their life. And they need you to remove those demons and the evil forces that are attacking their minds and and teaching them lies help these girls god please father do a miracle lord you're able there's nothing that you can't do and and while we're on miracles lord would you heal tim of summit cancer lord would you heal christina wolf of breast cancer lord jesus and so many others that are on my heart and my mind lift them up right now friends by name anyone that's sick anyone whose marriage is hurting anyone who's prodigal just just lift it up right now Parkinson's, cancer, autism, autoimmune disease. You see the people that are on my mind right now, God, who I'm lifting up in my mind to you, Jesus. I thank you that we can pray, Lord. I lift up Scarlet to you. I pray for Adil and Adam for their, for them to come back to the cross. I pray for all the prodigals, for Calvin, for Talisa, Father. I pray for... Um, Jeanette, uh, Calvin's wife. I pray for the prodigals, Jesus, my brother, my nieces, Lord. I lift them up to you, God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Draw them back. Woo them with your love. Woo them. It says in your word, it's the kindness of the Lord that leads to repentance. I don't know why I'm prompted right now to pray for Selena's brother um, who's who was raised in the church, who's backslidden. I lift him up to you. I think his name is Bobby, but you know him. Selena's um, Heather Rios' son. I pray for him, God. Draw them back to you, Jesus. All of the prodigals, Lord. Mar uh, Marcella and um, um, Margaret's uh, children and Eddie's children and, and the grandkids, Father. My nieces, Nikki, Nisa, Tishy, Mandy, all of them, Lord. Lift them up, friends, right now by name, the prodigals, the backslidden. Brady, Jesus, the, the prodigal spouses, God. There's many. Jose, Jesus, I pray for this man. Break him, Lord. Be gentle, but break him and bring him back to the foot of the cross. Lord, you are able. There's nothing you can't do, Lord. You healed Isaac. Thank you that he's been one year seizure free. Thank you, God, that you are the yes and the amen. Thank you, Jesus, for Portview School, that he gets to go on field trips and he gets to learn and he, he has all the supports that he needs thank you for that god thank you for getting us through a year and a half of COVID. thank you for my beautiful daughter olivia who knows you who loves you who wanted to start a christian club bless her and addy as they minister on friday they'll have another christian club meeting at ontario christian school bless them bless all the youth that love you and they're not going to the world they're standing up like daniel like shadrach meshach and abednego raise up more god more young leaders father please jesus I pray for my husband, Chuck, as he's grieving and mourning. And I pray for him as he's preparing I'm a sorry, message for that's tomorrow. Not, that's not Sharing true. at Calvary that's Montclair. Would you be with them? Would you bless him? Would you help him? That's Would you equip true. him? Would you fill him with your Holy Spirit? And I pray Relax. this over all of the men. Get your toys. We'll go to school. All of the, the men, Lord. The grandpas, the uncles, the dads, the theos, the, the, um, all the men. All the men, God. Not just Chuck. All the men, God, mighty men of valor, raise them up. Give them boldness in these last days. Give them boldness to stand up for truth. May they be in your word. May they read the word with their wives, to their wives, to their kids, God. May they um, pray, teach our men to pray, Lord. And I just thank you for this time, Father. I feel so refreshed. I was so concerned it was going to be a, a time of just... Uh, grief and mourning and sadness right now but you just filled my heart with joy as i praise your names reminding myself of your name and there are so many god um alkanah jealous god so many names throughout your scripture you're jealous for our love why would you want us why do you even want us god and yet you do thank you for calling us sons and daughters kings and priests your kids we are your kids thank you and praise you and bless you and there's so many other things to pray for father for our nation for repentance and revival for you to do a brand new work, Lord, in Calvary Montclair and in all of our churches, God. Open up our eyes to see wonders from your law as we read your word, as we meditate on it, God. 
teach us, help us, equip us, direct us, instruct us, correct us, help us to be on your page every single day. In Jesus' matchless, most beautiful, exquisite name. Amen.